Say hello to my subscribers right there. Hey, we we put in a company we what we put in that guy right there is the best mechanic there. No, but yeah, yeah but, and now he's an influencer in YouTube. No, no. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanics there. D &D. Wait that Holds law. Codeology. Sparkle Cuz. I'm here to enforce Holmes Law. Come be great, man. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Today, we're going to be doing part two of Quick Bend, the guide, okay? It's basically like a tutorial guide, kind of-ish, you know? Um, it's not really a tutorial because I'm not going to show you how to use, you know, every single feature here. I'm kind of showing you what these features are you know and how to take advantage of what quick bend has to the fullest extent okay <clears throat> now like i said this is in no way you know i'm not you know sponsored by them or anything like that um i was just requested to do a video like this for this app i took a look at it and i actually said you know what this app isn't so bad you know and it'll save me some time, you know, from explaining a few, you know, actual, you know, formulas and stuff like that anyway. But let's get started. Okay, so in this part, we're going to be speaking about and I'm going to be explaining the quick census feature. Okay, and the multiple bends. All right. And for today, we're going to be using the Klein Bender as an example okay because i might at the end of the video do an example for the quick centers or and the multiple bends okay i might just take a you know an example and i might give you and show you an actual demonstration okay so without further ado let's get it started okay so let's we already have our bender chosen okay just in case you didn't know you can just press select bender and you have a various multitude of benders that you can actually choose here you have all of these green leaf benders gardener up in the top is current tools one of my favorite actually uh and then you have all these hand benders from ideal klein and milwaukee okay so we have chosen the klein aluminum cast because that is what i have with me at the moment okay so now we're going to go to the quick center okay and we're going to choose emt and three quarter which has already been chosen for us here on the top left and right hand of the screen okay so here on the left hand you're going to see something like a you know conduit or what what it's you know a picture of it okay and you're gonna see all these arrows pointing from all these measurements and it says you know start mark you know 15 22 30 degrees and you can scroll up all the way to 60 degrees okay so let's just start with this okay and it says if you look and you pay attention to the left side of the screen okay directly under emt you're gonna see the duck mark okay and all of these measurements that you're seeing here are from the deduct mark on that bender okay which people don't understand it they're referencing to the arrow on the bender okay so just you know just think about the arrow when they say the duck mark on the hand bender. Now on the electric and, and, and table benders, what they mean is the actual, you know, hook or the shoe the, where you line up your marks from. Okay, so that's what they mean by the duck mark. Okay. Now, what this quick center feature, you know, has that maybe other, you know, conduit bending apps don't have or i wouldn't know because i haven't i don't really you know use apps like that but what this feature has here that is very useful is that especially for me but i have all of these measurements already and i've actually you know um compared them to my measurements and they're spot on you know they really are maybe a few you know fractions of, a, of an inch off but it's 
barely spot you know it's almost spot on you wouldn't even notice the difference um so let's yeah so anyways let's just say let's say for an example okay you want to do a kick okay because this is the best example that i can give you this is you know what i would use it for but there are other methods to use it let's just say you want to make a kick okay and you want to do a 30 degree kick 20 inches away from the back of your 90 okay and you want to do a 30 degree kick whatever the case may be okay just just act, just follow me all right just hang in there and just actually you know follow me right let's just say you want to do a 30 degree kick from the back of the 90 20 inches away from the back of the 90 and you want to do a 30 degree kick okay what you would actually do is measure that you know 20 inches okay and then you would take the inch and seven eighths and subtract that from the 20 inches okay do you follow me you're gonna subtract it from the 20 inches all right that inch and seven eighths and then you can actually use the arrow that's what this quint center is all about that's basically it it's giving you the center of the 30 degree bend so you don't have to actually go around trying to find the center of bend marking it on your bender and doing all that other stuff you know and then actually bending it on center it's giving you the center of bend already so all you have to do is subtract it deduct it from whatever measurement you want so if you wanted 20 inches from the back of the 90 and you wanted to do a 30 degree kick it's gonna have to be on center well if you wanted to fall on the center of a 30 degree kick all you have to do is take your measurement which is 20 inches that, that was the example subtract the inch and seven eighths put that new mark that you have on the arrow of your bender and when you bend it it's gonna fall center on 20 inches with a 30 degree bend isn't that awesome that's that's perfect so now you have all the center of bends here and now you don't have to bother bending on center anymore you can just use the arrow just make sure you deduct for whatever degree bend you want if you want a 60 then deduct it 30 and 3 sixteenths and you know from the 20 inches you would deduct 30 and 3 sixteenths put it on the arrow bend it and now it's going to fall on the center of bend you no longer have to actually transfer the center of bend for a 60 degree bend onto your bender then actually bend it you don't have to do that anymore you can just you don't even have to mark your bender anymore all you got to do is just remember these deduct marks for for the center of bend for whatever angle and that's it you know deduct it bend it on the arrow and you're done pretty much it okay so this is what's cool about that because if i ever forget and i don't have my pad with me with all my uh deduct marks on my quicks or well, my my center marks i can just look it up on the app and i have it right there for any bender on top of that okay for any bender you can actually do this for it's not only the client it's for any bender let's go to the green lee um cyclone the 854 okay let's check that one out let's go to the quick center <clears throat> okay and look all of them they are all here every single one okay every single one is here it's perfect you know let's just say you wanted a 30 degree you know, a bend on center for uh, the actual for a two inch emt okay it's the same thing same thing 
okay let's just say we wanted it for the inch and a half it's right here and as you can see it, it changes okay let's just say you wanted it for a three-quarter pipe on this type of bender okay it changes all the values change these are all the centers for any bender that this app has they have the quick center <clears throat> excuse me so this is what's so cool about this app okay now enough of that let's get to the multiple bends because this is going to take a little longer okay let me put it on the Klein bender okay and let's go to multiple bends let me erase this I was actually playing with it before okay so this is a multiple bends this is a feature here that this app has where you can actually load up different types of bends on one conduit and it'll tell you how to lay it out and that's the main part you know it's going to tell you how to lay it out and the way that you bend it it's going to be all in a push through method that's that's what's cool about it it's all in the push through method but there's another feature as well where you can actually flip the mark and i'm going to show you that in a minute okay i'm going to actually show you that so let's just say we want us to do for starters let's keep it simple let's just say we want to do a 90 degree bend okay uh, with a 12 inch stub okay so let's just add that for now you press add okay and you scroll down okay to a 90 degree bend Okay, and it's going to tell you the distance from the start of the conduit to the back of the new 90 <clears throat> or whatever to the back of the 90. Okay, basically, we want so it says the distance from the start of the conduit to the back of the new 90. All right, and it shows the arrow basically, you know, the height of the stub, what we want. You press it, it's going to this little thing is going to come up here with with all with plus minus five plus minus one and a slide ruler so you could even slide this little slide on the bottom and it'll give you fractions of an inch okay or you can tap it and it'll go up by uh, i believe an eighth of an inch here let me see no by a sixteenth of an inch if you just tap it or you can just use the slide and it'll slide through all the fractions as well okay so let's just say we want 12 inch stub okay and that's pretty much it you just tap the center again that'll go away and you press load bend okay and it'll tell you where the mark is gonna be now all of these marks like how it says right here are based on the deduct mark on the benders deduct mark okay the benchmark which is basically the arrow okay if you're dealing with a hand bender or an electric and table bender it's the saddle or the front of the hook for the electric cyclone okay same thing now let's just say okay so back to the multiple bends let's say we want to add another bend to this okay you press add bend and you can choose from whatever bend you want to actually do okay you have offsets here to obstruction from an obstruction okay if you want to do matching offsets if there's already an existing you know offset I'll, I'll talk about those two number three and number four on another video because you can I have to I would have to get into that a little more and show you what that's all about okay but it's basically just matching existing bends that you already have on a rack maybe you know you want to match uh the bends that they have or you want to match you know the bends from center to center okay but we'll speak upon that later okay so let's say the the actual next bend that we want to do after the 90 okay let's say it's a three-point saddle no let's keep it a little simple let's keep it simple let's just do an an offset okay um and we're actually the offset is to the obstruction okay so we want to go over an obstruction after the 90 let's keep it simple okay so right here we selected it and it wants all this information okay it wants the distance from the back of the last 90 so from the back of the 90 to the start of the obstruction it wants that measurement okay and then it wants the height 
you know, the height of the offset, you know, the, the basically the height of the obstruction, okay, and then it wants the angle that you want to actually bend this offset at, okay, so very simply, let's just say that from the back of the 90, the obstruction is going to be, let's say, uh, 40 inches away, okay, 40 inches away, let's say that our rise is going to be I don't know, let's say five inches, okay? Let's say five inches. And let's say that we wanna do 30 degree standard bends. Simple, all you have to do is press load bend and that's it. It gives you all the layouts, okay? For your first and second mark, okay? For the offset. And we can continue on adding. Okay, now the one thing that I want to explain to you on these numbers and how you're going to lay these out, okay, is basically you're going to stretch your tape, your, your, your tape measure out, okay, from the edge of your conduit, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, from the edge of your conduit, you're going to stretch your tape measure out and all of these measurements are going to be from the edge of the conduit you're not going to measure six inches and then from six inches you're going to measure 36 and then from 36 46 no that doesn't make sense right what you're going to do which makes it very easy for us is you're going to take the tape measure and stretch it out at one time and you're going to mark six inches for the first bend you're going to mark 36 and 13 16 and then 46 and three quarter okay so that's what makes it cool is that you can stretch out your tape measure once and mark all of these marks at one time okay so after you're done marking them then you can actually bend it okay and it's all going to be in a push through fashion you don't have to flip your bender around at all for the offsets or for the 90 you're just going to do it in a push through fashion that's why this is cool because you can actually use it for any bender you can use it for your electric bender for your hydraulic bender and it's going to work okay and that's what's cool about this actual you know feature that it has okay now let's just say that <clears throat> for some reason you you want to or you need to flip a a bend okay let's just say you want to actually you don't want to do a push through <clears throat> you want to flip it around because let's just say you're at the end of the the conduit and you need to flip it around for, for some reason I'm not sure how I can actually What example I could give you For flipping this One would be a, a 90 actually You would have to Like if you would need to flip it Because you were at the end of the conduit And you, you just didn't have any more Left And you would need to flip your conduit In order to do the 90 Well you can do that You First let me show you the orientation of these Of these bent okay so it has the line and it has the blue shaded in here that's showing you the bent portion okay what's being bent okay in that direction so you have the line here you're gonna put your arrow here and you're gonna bend it and it's bending in this direction okay you have the line here and it's gonna bend it's bending that direction same with this one okay so now if you want to actually flip it <clears throat> You press those three dots, okay, and it's going to tell you, flip mark, or you can edit your 90 degree bend because you want to fix the measurements, whatever the case may be. But let's just say you want to flip the mark, okay, and you no longer want to flip it, you no longer want to bend it in that fashion. You can flip it around, okay, and it's going to give you a new measurement, alright, so you no longer... Are gonna bend it at six inches now you're gonna bend it at 14 and 5 15 16 but you're gonna flip your bender around the other way isn't that cool if you need to do that it gives you the actual you know measurement for it and how to lay that out as well that's cool you know what I mean and you can do that for any of the bends let's say you needed to do that for one of the bends on the offset It'll do that for you as well. Okay. And you can do it for this one too. For Mark 2. 
you can completely flip around the whole thing, you know, that's cool, now, <clears throat> enough of that, I think I've explained that enough, okay, if you want me to delve into this a little more, and show you more, you know, then just, you know, shoot me a request, and I'll give you more actual examples, okay, so let me show you what else, you can actually use the pencil, and you can edit that, or you can just erase it completely and you can start all over again, okay? By pressing that little garbage can. Now, that's enough of that. That's for the multiple bends, okay? And you can do that on any bender. The important thing is that you have to select the right bender for w that you're working with, okay? So, we we just did the quick center and the multiple bends, okay? If you guys shoot me a request on whatever else you want to know on this app, just let me know and I'll actually do, you know, a quick tutorial. Now, another one that I think is going to be important is showing you how to actually use the matching bends offset and the matching centers offset along with the simple parallel offset and the regular parallel offset. The three-point saddle and the four-point saddle are pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. Um, and then I think I'll go down to matching bend kicks and matching center kicks along with the parallel kicks and the parallel kicks forward. I'll actually show you those as well. The rest of them are self-explanatory. But <clears throat> if you shoot me a request for something specific, then I'll do a video for it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. And... Yeah, so just shoot me a request if you want me to do an example with a specific bender or a specific bend, just let me know, and that's it, I'll, I'll actually do the video for you, okay, guys, I appreciate you watching this, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, you know, any any and all social medias at Holmes Law, uh, we have a new Discord community account that will actually, you know, it's just up and coming, I'm also on Reddit, I have a community called Conduitology, on Facebook we also have a, a, a community called The Art of Conduit Bending, <clears throat> please join us on Discord, I'm going to be doing weekly Q&As uh, Q coming up starting next month, uh, yeah, so uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated, and with that, this is Mel, Holmes Law, and I'm out. Okay, what's up guys, how you doing? My name is Mel, welcome to Holmes Law. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how to use the Quick Bend app. The two sections that we were talking about on the last video, which is going to be the multiple bends feature as well as the Quick Center feature. Okay, so I just want to show you really quick how to, how to use the Quick Center feature along with the multiple bends, okay? So, <clears throat> basically, so like I said, we're gonna actually show you how to do the quick center feature and the multiple bends feature, okay? So, let's just say, okay, for the sake of the video, that we wanna do a, let's just say, I don't know, we wanna do a bend at, 20 inches, okay, 20 inches from the edge of the conduit, okay, just simply from the edge of the conduit, we want to do a bend at 20 inches, okay, and we want it to be 30 degrees, and we want it to land exactly at center at 20 inches, well, the Quick Bend app has a feature where it shows you, you know, how much to deduct for 30 degree bend for every single type of you know bender that they have listed which is quite a few they have current tools they have greenly uh, uh benders they have milwaukee benders klein benders and pretty much almost everything that everybody used the ideal benders and we're talking about hydraulic and electric benders as well so that's very very useful okay and I wanna let you guys know that I'm in no way sponsored by them, okay? Just wanna make that clear, all right? So, let's get back to the show. Like I said, 20 inches from the edge of the conduit, okay? Quick Bend says that for the Klein Bender, okay, we need to deduct, uh, well, let me see what I have here, an inch and seven eighths 
from the 20 inches, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and mark our 20 inches first, okay? Or you can just subtract it and then put it right on the conduit right away. It's up to you how you want to do it, okay? Now, after you mark your 20, it says for 30 degree bends, an inch and seven eighths to get it on center, okay? So we simply mark and we subtract the inch and seven eighths from our 20 inches, okay? And we have our new mark. It's kind of like you're doing a 90 degree stub, okay, where you have the deduct, okay? That's actually exactly what it is. Okay, so now you wanna, you know, you can either, you have this new mark, over here, okay, you have two marks, you have one here and one here, this is gonna be your actual center, okay, where your, your center is gonna actually fall on, this new mark that you deducted, okay, is where you're gonna actually put the arrow from your Klein bender, okay, or whatever bender that you are actually choosing on the Quick Bend app, okay, so you would put your arrow there or if it's an electric bender, you would put the front of your hook or if it's a table bender, you would actually put the front of that saddle there, okay? And when you bend it, okay, you'll bend it at 30 degrees and you'll, it'll fall right on center, okay? And I'll tell you why that's useful because you no longer have to actually bend a scrap piece of conduit to figure out the center of bend. All of the measurements are actually there. All you have to do is one little step of deducting whatever it is that the app is telling you to deduct for the quick center, okay? And I'm not gonna go ahead and bend it because I'm pretty sure you already understand where we're coming from. I just wanted to show you how the layout is, okay? So if you're actually measuring from the edge of the conduit back this way, okay? You measure your 20 and then you deduct, all right? So your arrow and the front of the bender would be facing that way, okay? Just to get it, just so that you know, the front of the bender would be facing that way, okay? With your back that way, all right? So the way that you deduct is the way that the front of your bender is going to be facing, okay? It makes sense because if your arrow is here, you're bending it up this way, which means that the actual center is gonna fall here, okay? So you're bending it up that way, so it's gonna fall center here, okay? All right, now, for the next one, which is gonna be the multiple bends section um, and feature of the Quick Bend app, okay? Which is very, very cool and very useful I wanted to actually explain to you and show you how this works. A lot of people hit me up and told me they didn't know how to properly use it. They weren't getting the right measurements. They weren't getting the right, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, measurements when they actually, you know, bent it. Everything was coming out wrong from what I got, all these messages, okay, on Instagram. Well, I heard you, I'm here, I'm gonna actually show you how to use the app, okay? Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna actually bend it on camera, but I am gonna show you how to lay it out and I'll show you the end result, okay? <clears throat> it's very simple, and I think you'll get a kick out of this, okay? And once you learn how to actually use it, I'm telling you, it, it's gonna be very useful. Now, just for the sake of the video, we're gonna, I'm gonna throw some, some numbers out there and some uh, 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 values, and we'll just, you know, just bear with me so that we could actually get this, you know, going. So now we're gonna lay out the multiple bends, okay? And like I said, I'm gonna throw some values at you, okay? So the way that you would do the multiple bends, like how I showed you earlier in the video, is you actually load one bed, one bend at a time, okay? So our first bend that we're gonna actually load up, if you wanna follow me on your phone is, the 12 inch stub, okay, 
So we're gonna do a 12 inch stub and that's gonna tell us to put a mark at six inches from the edge of the conduit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? If you can see right at six inches, we're gonna, we have our mark here, okay? And then for the second one, we're gonna do an offset, okay? And it's, and it's gonna ask you three questions, okay? It wants three different values, all right? From the back of the 90, okay, that we're just, that we're about to do, okay, because you're getting these measurements ahead of time, okay? You, you know what I mean? You don't have to, you could bend it one at a time and then, you know, you could do it that way or you could just lay it all out and then, you know, bend them all in sequence, which I think that's the whole use of the actual app. That's what's good about it. You can bend them all in one shot, okay? And let me tell you that this is all gonna be in push through method, okay? These are all push through method but you can change it up if you want to. But I won't show you how to do that in this video because I don't want to get you guys confused. But I'll come back with another video and I'll show you how to use that method where you can actually, you know, flip your marks, okay? I did show you and talk to you a little bit about it earlier in the video, but I'm not going to get too much into it, okay? So now back to this, all right? We're going to do an offset after our 90, okay? but it asks you three values. And one of them is gonna be the distance to the back of the 90, okay, to the edge of the obstruction, okay? And for the sake of the video, you know, we're just gonna say 37 inches is that measurement, okay? And it wants to also know the height of the offset, okay? We're gonna say eight inches. Okay, so if you wanna dial those into your phone, you can go ahead and do that. And lastly, it's gonna ask you what degree of bend do you wanna make these offset bends? Okay, and I'm gonna say 45 degrees for the sake of the video, okay? So we have 37 inches from the back of the 90 to the edge of the obstruction. Our offset height is gonna be eight inches and the bend that we're gonna use is gonna be 45, okay? And it's gonna give you back these values, okay, where to place your mark, all right? Now, what I want you to know is that these marks are all gonna be from the edge of the conduit, okay? All of them from the edge of the conduit. Okay, great. So, first, what you wanna do is, what you can do is just Plainly, just put your tape measure to the edge of the conduit and you can go ahead and simply just mark your six, which is gonna be your first one. And the other two marks that it gave us was 33 and 44 and a 16th, okay? Now, all of them are gonna be from the edge, okay? It's not gonna be like you're gonna mark six and then you're gonna go from six and, and mark 33 and then from that second mark, you're gonna mark 44. No, they're all from the edge, okay? So that's what actually makes it easier for you. You can actually just line it up to the edge and continue to mark all your marks at whatever measurement you have them at. Let me go ahead and open up my ruler, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our second mark. We already marked the, the six inches, okay? The second one is gonna be at 33. We're gonna mark that one, okay? And we can go ahead and mark it around the whole conduit if you want. This is just an example. And then our last one is gonna be at 44 and a 16th, which is right about here, okay? Now that we have all our three marks, okay? One, two, and then the one that's at six inches, which is three, okay? right about there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend all of these bends in a push-through method with the front of the shoe facing that way, okay, and your arrow, and they're all gonna be on the arrow, okay? Every single one of them is gonna be on the arrow, and the bend is gonna be facing in the way that you took the, the, the actual measurement, okay? So the, the, from the front all the way to the front, 
of this conduit. Okay, so the front of the bend is gonna be facing that way. So you're gonna bend every single one and all you're gonna do is just slide it down to the next bend, slide it down to the next bend in a push through method. So that's why this is actually very useful. Okay, let me show you with a hand bend though. It's actually very useful because you can do this with an electric or table bender and you don't have to take it out of the bender to flip it around to flip it around, okay? You can actually just leave it in the bender and just rotate it 180 degrees for your offsets. And that's pretty much it, okay? So you're gonna place it just like this on the arrow, okay? On the arrow, and which is right there, okay? And your second mark, okay? The second mark, the first, the first bend for the offset is going to be on the arrow as well, okay? And then the third one, you're going to slide down and rotate it 180 degrees, and you're going to put that one on the arrow as well, okay? And bend it to 45 degrees, okay? So that's what's so useful about this actual app, okay? So that's pretty much it. Now let me actually make these bends, okay? And I'll get right back to you, okay? Okay guys, and we're back, all right? So the bend is actually done, all right? You have your, and this was all done in the push through method, all right? You have your 12 inch stub, okay? Let me actually show you here. You have your eight inch offset, and the distance, okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. From the back of the 90 to my edge of my instruction, don't forget it was 37, okay? We have that with an eight inch rise. <clears throat> okay, with an eight inch offset at 45 degree bends. Okay, with a 12 inch stub. All right, so these were all done in the push-through method. It was the 90 degree bend was done first, okay? Then I slid it down, did my first 45, and then I did my second 45, all right? And that was all done with the Klein bender, so it was, you know, that was the bender we were using for this example. But you can use any bender, and you'll get the same results, all right? It's all about putting the right values into that app as long as you know what you're doing and you know how to you know put the right values into the app and you'll get good results all right and pretty much that's it guys i'm trying to make it as short as possible i apologize if it was a long video uh but i needed to you know get some points across okay so my name is mel thank you for watching the video please don't forget to support us Just tell your friends co-workers um and uh, yeah, just tell your coworkers about this. If you have any questions at all, you can contact me through Discord. I think that's the best way. I'm always on there. Um, if not, you can contact me on IG. That would be the second best way to contact me, okay? Don't forget we have communities that you can actually ask questions at now on Reddit and Facebook. The Facebook community is called The Art of Conduit Bending. You just have to ask a few answer a few questions and agree to the terms. And uh, you'll become a member on Reddit. You can go there. It's a, it's a fairly new community on Reddit. I just started it for those that like and prefer that community, that platform. It's called Conduitology. Look it up. And yeah, join it. Okay? So pretty much that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Mel. This is Holmes Law. And I'm out.